hello cancer and welcome back to my channel and this is your july reading we're at july already i want to quickly show you this book me and my sister co-wrote it it's called the spirit within and it's really about our journey into development and how we once we realized um, we had these sort of extended senses we learned how to control them how to enhance them and how to use them so a lovely book here the spirit within i'll put a link to that in the description below that is available on amazon now remember these are general monthly star sign readings they should resonate with you they will, will resonate differently for some people like we may pick up that there's a change and it could be work for some of you home for others friends you know changing your home there's there could be all sorts of things that they could relate to and the first card out there the three of cups threes are about having an idea and moving forward with it and this is something because that's the three of cups because cups are about emotions this is something that you are happy about and you are celebrating, okay? And you are celebrating with friends or family, people that you hold dear. So you're celebrating about some sort of advancement, some sort of step forward, something that's coming to fruition for you. And next to that Three of Cups, you've got that King of Pentacles, the money sign. Could be somebody who's concerned with finances. Sometimes, you know, you can be a bit too um, materialistic. Concerned a bit too much about his finances. But obviously the earth sign is not you, Cancer. You are the water sign, which of course is the cups. But good things are coming. That sun card is a really positive card so good things are coming for you so even if you find that you are concerned with finances this month and perhaps this thing here this thing that you're moving forward with this advancement this celebration is to do with money but it's really really positive and next to it the king of wands You've got two kings out in your region already, Cancer. And when two kings come out, it could indicate that you are taking advice. You're listening to people. And these are people who are above you. Kings, obviously, the top of that chain. So something really good is happening for you. You're moving forward. And you're kind of in the limelight. But you are taking advice, support from other people. This could be something at work. And wow, look at that. The three of wands. So in this top row, two kings, two threes. Trust yourself. Be clear. It's time for you to create. It's time for you to get going. It's time for you to do things. I don't know what you're planning, Cancer. But look at her there, standing there with her board, looking at the water, ready to go. She's ready to go. She's ready to get going. And that's you in the month of July, all ready. You're there. You're celebrating because... Something you want, it's, it's within reach. You're all ready for it. You know exactly what it is, Cancer. So it's within reach this month, something that you want. It's coming to you. It's time for you to create. Stand strong, trust yourself, be artistic. You've got two cards out in your bottom row now. The Knight of Wands and the Devil. Now the Knight of Wands, he's come running there. Got his wand up in the air. Something is changing for you. Something's starting, something's finishing. That Devil card 
is the thing that chains you. It's some sort of commitment, okay? Something that you just cannot stop yourself from doing, okay? Could be work, could be hard work. You've been working hard to get this. So all these clues should be indicating to you, Cancer. What have you been working hard for? And you've also got that Six of Cups. Again, that's about a celebration, about getting together, about things now calming down and you're in some sort of stability. And you've left the choppy waters behind. So you're happy where you're going in July. You're moving forward, you're advancing in your life, you're creating something. Something new seems to be coming in for you and you're happy about it. You could be taking advice, you could be taking support because you've got those two kings there. But definitely something is starting and something is also finishing. That card indicates that and this leaving rocky waters behind. Things are calming down for you. And you can't stop yourself from taking this opportunity, from doing this, from moving forward. Because we know we've got that devil card there. But you are happy, you are celebrating. You've got two cards here talking about celebrating. Okay, Cancer, let's pull a guardian angel message and see what your guardian angels have to say to you. Um, this card came out first. And you've got the healer of abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand on your career, but don't forget to leave time for your family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift for design and decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. So a lovely, lovely message for you, Cancer, which is telling you that you are moving forward in your life. You've got the chance now to succeed, to be innovative, expand on your career, whatever it is you want to do. But also don't forget to leave time for your family. We've got two cards in here where we mentioned you spending time and enjoying, celebrating with your family. So you've definitely got the opportunities to move forward in July. You've definitely got the opportunities to expand in something. But also enjoy time with your family. So lovely messages for you, Cancer. Let's pull a couple of love and relationship cards. And straight out there, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So good things are coming for you, Cancer. And for those of you in a relationship, you're sort of becoming even more attractive to your partner. You're enjoying the romance. You're enjoying the moment. And it's making you attractive. And you're being told to keep an open mind, okay? Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type. So that will be for you single people. Keep an open mind. It may be that someone's coming in for you. You may feel an attraction. But you'll tell yourself, no, I've done, you know, it's not the sort of type for me. Let's not think about types, cancer. Let's keep our minds open. It's more about their personality. How they treat you. How they respect you. And just... Keep an open mind, spend some time, get to know them, and then make your decision. A lovely reading, Cancer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget my sister's channel, Minds Are Inspiration. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put a link to the book. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.